Okay folks, hi there again, Terry Robinson. Today we've got a real special topic for you today. We're going right back in time. The good thing about being an artist is you can do whatever you like. And today, I want you to imagine we're going right back in time, further than you could possibly imagine, right back to in the beginning. I've entitled this particular painting, In the Beginning. And we're right at the top here. Nice letters. The heaven and the earth. I'm glad he made the earth. In the beginning, there would have been just nothing. Just darkness was everywhere. It was just the black. Nothing. That's even hard to imagine how there could be possibly be nothing. Sometimes I like to just give a little glimpse of something right there just coming. See that? Something's just starting to come in the distance. Then we move across where suddenly God bursts on the scene and starts creating. And I think if you had a thousand artists painting this scene, you could get a thousand different ideas. So this idea is how I visualize how it may have looked at the time. So you've got a range of colors involved in it, you see. And if you if you attempt to do this painting, well you can just really use your imagination to think of how it may have looked. So this the good thing about this painting is you can really use your imagination because you're actually building with a, a written word and trying to bring it and trying to use a written word and bringing it into a visual. So that's quite a quite a feat, folks. You should give it a go. It's quite enlightening, even. So we're getting the earth, and we're going to have to draw some kind of image of God happening up there. Uh, so we've got to try and draw him somehow. I might let that dry off a bit. And we'll carry on down into the heaven. We'll do some heaven here. Any sorts of colours to represent being in heaven. I, I envisage it. We're just sort of mapping out a, a quick concept and then of course thankfully God made the earth so we could be put on it and uh, so for an earth we could do all sorts of different scenes you know we could do a bit of a, a bit of a lake scene misty mountains even Just trying to do something that look, might look like the earth a wee bit. We're actually creating the earth, folks, so isn't that exciting? As an artist, you can actually become the creator to a certain degree, of course. So look, we're creating the earth. That's a fantastic. You know, you can spend as much time as you like, you know, uh, creating the earth. Um, so, I think it needs quite a bit more attention on there. But how it would have looked in the very beginning, we don't really know. Let me take a bit of a guess. Would have been a bit of blue sky in there. We've got to try and get this, the outer planet scene happening a bit better here. A little bit of sky happening. It's a little dark, I need some. We've got to create a little bit of a separation between the heaven and the earth. Definitely some sort of a barrier. There is a barrier 
barrier between the heaven and the earth. I think we all know that. Um, so you can, you know, you can play around with your earth and with your heaven as much as you like, and and in the in the creation as well, the scene of creation. Now, sometimes you've got to let it dry off. So I quite often use a hair dryer to dry it off, and then we can go on to the next stage. The good thing about this painting, folks, is that you can use a big wide flat brush to get a lot of the blending done in the different scenes. Try to get the curvature of the earth. Okay, folks, so we've we'll just tidied this up a little bit and we're gonna put the creator in. I decided to put him in last once that dries. So we've sort of got the, the nothing, and then we've got the creation happening and then you created the heaven and the earth. Um, so we're just going to let that dry off and draw in the creator as he bursts in on the scene, creating everything. I'm going to try and draw in the creator. So again, you've got to use your imagination for this. Now this is my interpretation of how the creator may have looked when he was creating the earth. For we can draw him a little bit like a man, but a little bit like an angel. Perhaps that's maybe a good way to be thinking for this. You know, think of how does an angel look like? Basic shape there of the, the Almighty. And now we're going to draw his aura, or the power that emanates from him. Okay, folks, here we go. We've drawn the Creator, um, as he may have looked when he started creating the earth and the heaven. Um, so now we've done his basic sort of shape and now we're going to try and draw a little bit of his power as it kind of glows out from him. And again, it's all experimenting through heaven, even down to earth. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. You really let your imagination go, go wild with this topic. Um, you have a real lot of fun with it. So we draw his power reaching right through down to earth. When God was creating the heaven and the earth, he also said, let there be light. Let there be light. And there was light. You play around for a long time trying to create the aura that's coming out of God's power. Um, so it's quite a tricky topic, but... So... Here we go, that's sort of stage one of In the Beginning. That's its title. The next stage we've got to do really is do the lettering as best you can. You know, like up here you'd write In the Beginning, and then you put here God created the heaven and the earth. So that's about basically all you've got to put in, and the words become part of the artistic look of the whole thing. And um, I'm sure someone would really appreciate seeing such a lovely picture on their wall. So thank you for watching. Please keep tuning in and um, subscribe. And who knows what we're going to come up with next. Oops, get the printing done. It says in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So it pulls together you've got four different scenes. You've got nothing at the top. God creating in the middle the heaven and at the bottom of the earth. So you get to paint all those four different sort of scenes on the one canvas and um, it really comes, can come out quite good. I'd love to see some other renditions of this and um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget please subscribe to our channel and we shall carry on with more paintings for you. Thanks again um, and of course hopefully God will bless you all as you endeavor to paint and spread his good news. Thank you. Bye now.